Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Jeff Baker and I'm doing one painting each day in quarantine. Today is day 35. This is part two. Earlier today at one o'clock, I was here live on YouTube and I do a palette knife painting of our daily subject. Let me show you what that is. And then every day at three o'clock, I come back right here on YouTube. Please like and subscribe. And I put in the details with acrylic paint pens. Here's our subject today. These, this is Elizabeth and Whitney, expressive art therapists at Dell Children's Medical Center. And they've been working through this pandemic. They have been bringing art to the patients and music to the patients. And right here in this photo, they're doing a, a live stream to all the hospital rooms. They're playing a game called Pictunary. Pictionary with music. Here we are so far. We've got our figure sketched in, or figure sketched in, painted in with the palette knife, just like that. And now I'm going to come back and put the details in with acrylic paint pens. And what I'm going to do is, um, Elizabeth was here earlier in part one. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, you had some great tips on. Um, suggestions for art projects you can do alone in quarantine or you can do it with your family together in quarantine and Elizabeth also talked about all of the how, how she helps patients with art how art can help patients heal I completely believe art heals and um, thank you for coming Elizabeth that was great um, I'm gonna play a little bit of our interview in a little bit actually why don't I do that so you can hear what, what we talked about even though um, She's not here. You'll be able to hear it. Okay, this will just take a second. Mm -hmm. Technology is amazing. <laughs> you quote me on that. Okay, let's see where I'm here. Okay. Oops. Oh, wow. I'm live. That was me live on Facebook. I, mean, I guess I knew that. Hi, Facebook. Um, I, I miss chatting with you on Facebook. There is a chat box over here on YouTube. If you go to my YouTube channel up in the right-hand corner, um, I loved our chats on Facebook. Um, and, but I've moved here now, and there is a chat box, and I'm going to figure out how to make it work on all TVs, including Apple TV. Um, let me just pull up, because I want to play this. Um, uh, please don't tune out. Please like and subscribe. Um, once I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'm at like 450. Once I get to uh, a thousand, I'll be able to use a lot more tools in the um, in, in the editor program. I'll be able to, like in my promo video, I say please like and subscribe or, and then watch this video. Well, when I went to put in the video and the like button or the subscribe button, I don't have enough subscribers yet to use those tools, but but I'll get there soon. Um, let me just pull this up. Please be patient. Here we go. And I think this is going to work okay. This is just going to take a second. Thanks for tuning in. Hope everybody's safe and well. Okay, here we go. One moment, please. Thank you. Here we go. Here's Elizabeth. Fascinating television, I know. Part one went a little fat, a little better. <laughs> okay, here we go. We'll just listen to this. See how this works. Good. Good. And I'm sure that there's 
all kinds of new procedures and extra precautions? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we've been really, I think our hospital has been really great about protecting everyone. Um, you know, we're all wearing masks every day. And then we have hygiene and just making sure that we're six feet apart and all the different rules in place, you know. So, yes, I see, this, not, I see in this photo that you're doing a, a game with um, Whitney, the music therapist. And is, yes. is that a, like, uh, is that a, in a room with live patients or is that like on the TVs in the rooms? Yeah, we, we actually have a closed circuit TV system, and uh, so because we can't do groups right now, uh, we're able to group session with the CCT system, and that's what we're doing right there. We're playing a, a dictionary game that we call dictionary, and uh, it's just like dictionary except with music involved. So it's really fun. That's great. That's great. It looks like um, you have like a hat, and you're picking the names out of the hat. Right. <laughs> That's great. I'm just gonna. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say one of the one of the songs was the Son of the It was really hard to draw. <laughs> right. That was a good one. That was a twister. Great twister. Well, that's fun. That's fun. Yeah, I mean, I'm really hoping that the kids are tuning in and listening and being engaged. Can you talk a little bit about what you do as an art therapist at the Children's Hospital at Dell Children's here in Austin? Absolutely. Uh, so I have all kinds of different art supplies that I can bring into rooms. I'm still allowed to do that. Um, I have to be a little more careful now about what art materials I bring. Um, a lot of them are single use that I can leave in the room um, so that they can just have them. But uh, we do a lot of painting, model magic. Um, all kinds of different um, little crafts and different things. And really, it's, it's to help the kids express themselves. And um, some of them really want to forget forget where they are and not think about being in the hospital. Um, the other ones really feel like they need to process what's going on. So if they've had a trauma or a difficult situation that they're in the hospital for, um, sometimes it helps them to talk about it a little more openly when they're doing that. Yeah, I know sometimes maybe they can't find the right words to explain how they're feeling, but it'll come out in their heart, right? Right. It's, it's really fascinating the fact how, you know, they just, sometimes kids don't even know what they're feeling until they're in the hospital. And your your suggestions are still 
are still what we're doing here. This is a bracelet kit oh, thank you. that you suggested. Uh, you suggested origami. And so we have, uh, since I met you, we have delivered over 7,000 art kits. Wow, you I know, isn't that great? Um, That's amazing. It is amazing. And um, thank you for the suggestion. Um, a lot of thousands of people have been able to make art now. We deliver those to the kids at the hospital and over to soldiers at Fort Hood and seniors around town. And um, thank you for your suggestion that really um, set us on our way from day two of our organization. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, there is a very, very special event that happens at Dell Children's once a year. It's called the Art of Giving. And you are the founder of the, of the Art of Giving. Can you talk a little bit about how that came to be and what the Art of Giving is? Sure. Uh, so many years ago, I guess like eight years ago now, um, we had a special donor who wanted to donate to our program. And um, he thought it would be really cool to have a piece of art to kind of, you know, share with other people and encourage other people to donate. And so we weren't sure how to make that happen. And so we talked a little bit more about it and talked to our foundation members and just kind of came up with this plan for an annual event where local artists would come and help the kids create really beautiful, large pieces of art. And it would be free for all of the participants. And everybody would know that the art is going back to the donors that donated in the first place. So it's all pre-sponsored and lots of really nice businesses and companies and banks uh, donate to the hospital. And then as a big thank you, we give those big pieces of art back to the donors. So, uh, so we've got usually like 13 to 16 local artists that come and do their own uh, kind of style with the kids. So Jed is our wonderful artist. He does I'm showing pictures right now from the brochure. Uh, here's a picture oh, of, of, of the, one of the patients. He's working on the, this is the painting that I'm doing. We write words, positive words on the canvas, and then all the kids scrape over it, and it turns into a really beautiful painting. Here is uh, that one, and here's uh, Rebecca Borelli uh, with her paint markers. And so this this is a this was the seventh or the eighth or ninth year of the event. Yeah, this this would have been the eighth. We had to delay it a little bit, but hopefully we'll get to do it when all this stuff comes all down. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, because last year the art of giving adult children raised over one hundred and fifty thousand dollars for the art music therapy yeah, program at yeah. the hospital. And I know that you count on that money, so hopefully we're going to be able to to still have that event and. Uh, Maybe yeah, we'll really helpful. Calm down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was sorry to see that that was um, not happy, but uh, of course, everyone needs to be safe. That is the, the most important thing. Of course, yeah. 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 Um, and I'm still seeing so many wonderful creative things happening throughout the community with the art. And, you know, I'm, I'm just really I'm happy that you're doing what you're doing. And I think, you know, a lot of creative people are really kind of getting into their most creative place during the time, which is really nice to see. That's right. We have a little time. And I even see that you have been making your own art on your own time after you've been making art all day with patients. <laughs> yeah. One, one really cool project that actually was not my idea. I kind of feel silly for not making it myself. Um, but one of the job life specialists really wanted to kind of connect all of the departments by doing flowers, uh, we each, uh, I, I just distributed um, single use paint palettes with two watercolors on them. And everybody uh, went on to a tutorial on YouTube and just did some flowers. And uh, I put them all together into a big piece, watercolor piece. And uh, it was just a really great way to kind of connect our department and let us do something creative you know, for each other and with each other without being in the same room. So you're, you're not only helping them. Hey everybody, I'm not a ventriloquist, a ventriloquist. Um, I'm just replaying the interview today with Elizabeth Henley. She was here at one o'clock when I did my palette knife painting. I'm painting her today. She's an art therapist at Dell Children's. And I'm painting Whitney. She is the 
music therapist at Dell Children's, and they've been working right through this pandemic. So that's what I'm painting today. I'm just going to give you an update of where I am on the painting. Uh, I put starting to put some details in with the acrylic paint pens. And uh, we have our guitar coming, little, some lines in the background. It's really shaping up quite quickly. There's a board here where they're playing the game. I'm going to be, I'm going to be putting that in next. And um, I just wanted to check in. I wanted to, you to hear what Elizabeth had to say today because um, there's ways you can help. And there's things you can do at home with things you have around the house to make art, to do an art project with yourself or together with the whole family. And um, that, that's coming up in just a second. So I'm gonna continue playing this interview. It, it goes on just a little bit longer. I'm gonna continue painting with the paint markers and um, we'll finish up day number 35. The patients with our, you're helping the staff at the hospital to, to release a little bit, to escape for a few minutes with some art. Yeah, yeah, it's really important to provide some kind of self-care for our staff. I bet it's very stressful. I'm 
I'm going to just come back now and she's got her guitar and I'm going to come back and just continue painting while we're talking, but in the background. So there's a technical thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You know, I just wanted to paint for myself because art heals. I know it. You know it. And um, when I, on my first day of quarantine, I thought, okay, well, this is time to put money where the mouth is. So I started painting. And by the third day, that's when I realized that I was going to be doing this every day. And uh, yeah. it's, a, it's a great escape for me. And I'm telling the story of the coronavirus pandemic from point of view of healthcare workers, from the point of view of us at home in quarantine and the national response. And I'm doing it through one painting each day. And today is a very special because I'm painting you, my friend Elizabeth. <laughs> Um, yeah, you've been an inspiration to me, and you've always been helpful to share our deal. Thank you. you. You've also come to uh, to help me and my share our deal nonprofit for the last few years at the Austin Police Department Youth Leadership Program. And yeah, that's been really fun. That has been great. Um, that that's a program that that most people don't know about. The Austin Police Department has a lot of outreach programs, and they have this program. Officer Eric Oakman, retired officer, founded this program over 10 years ago. And there's 150 students, middle school students, who are in this program and they're invited to come for four years. And after that, they can go into the high school program. They choose middle school because it's really uh, a critical time when decisions that can change your life for the good or the bad are happening. And these uh, officers are teaching classes on leadership. Um, eight officers come in and teach classes and they work with the students and then I bring art to the program every year, all month, and you have been helping. We've done um, printing, right? Yeah, printing. We've done printmaking and um, that's been a, that's always a, a really a popular activity. It's something they might not have done before. Everyone's painted at grams, but the way we do our printmaking is, is, is a new thing and, and it's nice to say to take that home and, and share with the families. Yeah. So thank you for coming to help every year. Um, I don't know what the status no, is. Of thank you for having me. Yeah, it, it's, it's, um, it's really nice because you talk to the students about how art can help them and release stress and, and express themselves. So thank you. Um, I'm just putting in your arms as we speak. Elizabeth, do you have any suggestions for art projects? That I have some friends who are home alone, and then I have some friends who are with their families 24 7, and they're not used to being with their families 24 7. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, and, you know, not everybody has a, a palette knife and a box of paints, but I bet they have something. Do you have any suggestions for just household items and maybe art projects that folks can do at home? Sure. We have one thing I've been thinking a lot lately is, you know, cards and letters, you know? Um, like, we have all these ways to connect, like FaceTime and Skype and Zoom and all these different things, but, you know, it would be great to get, like, a real letter in the mail or a card. You know, if they have paper and pencil and maybe cards and paint her out, you know? So just doodle on letters or making a card and handmade. I mean, that would just really bright people's things, I think. That would brighten up anyone's day. Grandma and Grandpa, your old aunt and uncle. Yeah. I said that because I'm an old uncle. <laughs> and um, that, that is a good idea. In fact, one of the greeting, one of the suggestions you gave us um, six years ago was for a greeting card kit. And we, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, so we have the blank cards, there's a bunch of stickers and some crayons in there. That is a great yeah. suggestion. What about getting a family together? What's a good uh, art project to do that? Oh, wow, you can do all kinds of things with that. You know, you could, if you do have paint or, you know, use markers and crayons, you could do like a group uh, family picture. And, you know, it really could just be a scribble, you know, if you want to. Um, we, we like to do get a doodles and scribbles and, you know, fun stuff. But one thing that we've done before is uh, to divide a piece of paper in three parts and have one person draw like the head of anything, really, like an animal or a person. And then have the paper with the second person, but with only the middle part showing, so they have two heads, and then they draw two heads, and then hand it to the next person, and they draw the leg, and it ends up being a really funny uh, drawing, you know, like unfold everything, and people use them on the So that's a super thing that we've done. 
<laughs> That's a great idea, and it's fun. It's a surprise. You can see um, what your your family members have been drawing. Great. Right. Well, that's great. And yeah, there's also the, the, the you know memory game. You know, you can draw like matching cards. You know, to move over. I can see like a an art project and a game to play. I love that. You can take some cards or put some paper into cards, and then you draw. draw two of each item to play the matching game. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Yeah. You're creating your own game and then playing it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just kind of, I'm going to be on the spot. I'm, I'm kind of thinking how to implement it myself. Good, you're <laughs> great. You are the professional. I <laughs> <laughs> um, have cards I have been thinking about a lot because I, I really love to do that for people. Yeah, you know that it is nice to get mail. People don't send mail like they used to. Yeah, yeah. What a thrill that was to get them letters in the mail. Right. Who gets letters in the mail? Well, now maybe someone's going to get some letters and artwork in the mail. <laughs> I would love to receive art for our artwork from my from my niece. Yeah, and I bet you do that back for you. <laughs> oh, you know what? I should probably start it. I should send the artwork to them. How about that? <laughs> Great. Um, so, I know nobody really knows how long this is going to go, right? And so, you're, you're just in it and you're going to work every week? Yeah. Just like usual. Yeah, it's kind of strange. You know, I keep hearing all these stories about people that really trying to say things that while they're quarantined, you know, right? I feel really fortunate that I still get to leave the house and, you know, feel like I have a purpose and, you know, it's, I'm not just really fortunate, but I'm, I'm really hoping that, you know, this ends soon so that other people can finally do it. Yeah, I, I, I'm hoping that we're going to not be like this for too long, you know? Right, yeah. Well, Elizabeth, I'm really, um, Cranking on your on your on your photo here. I, you probably can't see the computer right now, but I can show everybody where we are. Here we have um, Whitney with the guitar, and we have Elizabeth. And there's a board that's going in here where the, we're playing the pick tunary game. And um, I'm, I'm I'm really happy that you could join us today, Elizabeth. Well, thank you so much for asking. This has been really fun. And thank you for sharing some information with. Uh, all of my viewers here on YouTube. <laughs> no problem. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm wrapped up with this first part of our palette night paintings. What I do every day is I do this palette night painting at 1 o'clock, and then I let it dry, have a sandwich, come back at 3 o'clock, and I put in the details of the pasta key pens, which you turn me on to for the very first time. This, Thank you. This really um, changed my whole style. You've seen my new style of art. I was painting Austin before, I, before the pandemic hit. And um, with these markers that you turned me on to really like gave me this new style. So thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I love this one Those are my favorite. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Elizabeth, I want to thank you so much for coming. Um, everybody, I'm going to be back here at 3 o'clock Central Standard Time to finish up this painting. So um, Elizabeth, say um, hello to your family. I hope everybody's happy and getting along. I, know this, I hope the siblings are getting along. I'm sure they are. You have the best kids. Oh, yeah, they are. Um, thank you for um, coming. Do you have a, I know that people might be interested in donating to the art programs at Dell Children's. Is there a way that they can do that? Oh, sure. Um, Life Department, um, they will uh, let you know whether your donation will be okay. We, we have to be kind of careful about donations right now, too. So the things need to be, you know, new, um, you know, preferably shipped from Amazon. So <laughs> you might want to just check that out with the Life Department. Right. Um, we stopped delivering our art kits. Um, we, we used to, I used to just drop them off at the emergency room and for the Child Life Department. And um, I stopped doing that. You can't be just dropping in the hospital and dropping boxes off right now. Um, but right. if anybody is interested in helping the art therapy, music therapy, play therapy programs, they're the expressive therapy programs at Dell Children's Medical Center in Austin, you can call the hospital and talk to the child life department. Yep. Okay. Um,
Um, Elizabeth, um, thank you so much for joining me. And hopefully I'll see you at the Art of Giving and we'll make some art together in person soon. Um, you have been, uh, you've made this a uh, really special episode here on my new YouTube thing. So I want to thank you. Yay. Yay. And um, stay safe. I look forward to seeing your, your posts on, on Instagram. And then I'll see you when this is all over. All right. That's fantastic. And, 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 okay, here we are. Uh, the details are really coming in, and here is Elizabeth, who you've been listening to, the art therapist. She has her hands in this hat. She's pulling out the names of songs, and then the then then she's drawing them, and the music therapist is playing the song, and the kids are remote in their hospital rooms, uh, even social distancing in the hospital, and um, they're, they're watching this show on their hospital TV. So there's Elizabeth, and we're going to finish up here. Thank you, Elizabeth, for coming today. Those, those are some great ideas that you shared with everyone. Um, makes me want to make some art and send it to someone. I think that's a great idea. Okay, all we have left are your eyes. I'm going to put your eyes in, and I want to make sure I get these right. I'm just going to make my photograph a little bigger here. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for, for watching me paint. Uh, very interesting, right? But if you could please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Once I get to 100 subscriber, uh, 1,000 subscribers, I'll be able to um, use some uh, other editing tools. I'll be able to say, watch this video, check it out, or subscribe here, or whatever it may be, or donate to the hospital. I can do a button like that, too. OK, here we are. Let's get these eyes in. She's got big eyes. And do you know what? I really want to look at this, so I'm going to have it on my phone. I'm not going to, this painting is looking great, and I don't want to schlock it up. Schlock. I hope that's OK for YouTube. OK, here we go. I can, now I can see a little closer. What if I put on the magical glasses? There you are. Dang! I'll tell you what. Okay, here's your eyes. Here's your eyes, Elizabeth. Oh, you're smiling. You're always smiling. Okay. Oh, that's a happy eye. That's another happy eye. And then you're wearing your glasses under your mask. Those glasses in, there you are. <laughs> that is you, that's great. Um, okay, let's move over to Whitney. She's got a very expressive, she's singing, and you can see she's singing right through that mask. Her eyebrows are raised, her eyes are open wide. She's right here, too. Okay. Oops. Okay, Whitney. That looks great. Cool. Okay, Just little details in your hair. You have your hair pulled back. Now we return to our regularly scheduled royalty-free music. Mozart. Okay, uh, so we have your eyes. You have your finger, your hand. You have fingers over 
here playing the guitar. Okay, I'm just going to come back into those masks. The second coat of paint, even with the paint pen, is, you know, is a little darker, so that's what I want to do. And actually, I'm going to use the thicker one, get a little more paint on there. Elizabeth. Great. You're smiling through your mask, Elizabeth. I captured it in my painting. Um, we're getting really close. I'm going to just give you a quick look here, um, see where we are. And this looks like a fun game that's on the hospital TV. We see the doctors and nurses on TV, but the whole hospital staff is working. So this is a shout out to all the medical workers, all the essential workers, all of the, all of the safety workers, all the sanitation workers. Okay. You know, I, I just want to check this again because I might be, might be complete here. Let's get my photo up. I could read this word a little better, so I'm going to put that word in a little better. Pictunary. We learn something new every dang day. I never know where it's going to come from. Okay. I'm just going to take a quick check of this. Okay. We're good. This is, this is nice. This is the day 35. I'm just going to sign it. The right color. I'm going to be painting every day right here on YouTube at 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock. Just putting a couple folds into the shirt here. And I hope you'll join me. If you're a creative person, if you're any kind of person, you could be doodling every day. Make a little doodle notebook. Send it, make a card and send it to a friend. That was a great suggestion, Elizabeth. We're good here. This is our drawing. This is our painting for the day. Art therapy goes on. I want to thank you all for stopping by. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel. I'll be painting here again tomorrow on YouTube at 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock Central Standard Time. So uh, thank you, Elizabeth, for stopping by today. Um, please, everyone, uh, until I see you again, even if I never see you again, please be happy, be healthy, and be kind.